was a topic that came up this morning in our teleconference, and it was asked, what's the difference between chestnuts, buckeyes, hazelnuts? Well, I don't have pictures of hazelnuts in here because I don't think they are one that gets confused with these other two because they are very tiny nuts and tiny trees. So first one we have here is Chinese chestnuts. This is the chestnut that is edible and we can grow here in Missouri. These are actually current pictures we just took on a tour that I hosted here in St. Genevieve County just earlier this week. Chinese chestnuts are grown as edible here now because our American chestnuts have chestnut blight and are pretty much extinct. So this is the only one that we can grow for edible chestnuts. As you can see, they're called the burrs on the tree and those burrs open up and can have three to four nuts in them. So on the right hand side, you can see the actual chestnuts. They have flat sides and are uneven shaped because of the multiple chestnuts in the burr. Those burrs are as prickly as they look. I've worked with this grower since I started with extension and I remember the first time he brought one in with an insect issue in the burr. And my first thought was, Wow, who originally thought that they wanted to open up those burrs and mess with those in order to get those nut meats out? They are prickly and very nasty to deal with, but it is a viable commercial crop. Also, one thing to look at here too is the leaves. They have serrated edges and they are a single leaf. So remember that single leaf because... Buckeyes do not have single leaves. They have what's called palmate leaves, so a palmate leaf compound. So if you think about your hand and your fingers coming off of your hand, those five fingers make that palmate compound leaf. We have lots of different kinds of native Buckeyes to Missouri. So I took a picture this morning. I have a master gardener that brought in the red Buckeyes. The red buckeyes are the ones that are red color in the picture on the right. And on the left is Ohio buckeye, both of those native trees. The red buckeye, the top picture shows that red bloom. It is a small shrub type or small tree. They are well known for their red blooms in the springtime. They are a food source for early traveling hummingbirds and make a beautiful landscape addition. And then, of course, in the fall, they also have cases with buckeyes in them. Typically, there are only one buckeye in those cases, and they do not have those sharp, spiny burrs that the chestnuts do. So at the top, the red bloom is the red buckeye. On the left, this kind of greenish yellow bloom is actually Ohio buckeye. Those can get to be very large trees and are another neat addition to landscapes. We also have lots and lots of other horticulture varieties of buckeyes out there. It really just depends on what you're looking for as far as bloom color, because they could be pinks, they could be yellows. Size of tree also matters. And sometimes these are also called horse chestnuts or also that same type of different name. So it's always important to know what you're talking about. These are not edible. And so while they look very much like those Chinese chestnuts, they are not edible. They can be toxic, but squirrels do like them. So these varieties are native compared to the Chinese chestnuts. Hazelnut was also mentioned. Hazelnuts are shrubby type tree. They are typically an edge species. They are native. But they have very tiny nuts, and most of the time you're not going to get a harvest off of them for you because the wildlife is going to find them way before you get to them.